Walker at home, and this morning we're discussing available activities and events for seniors at town communities and living centers. Yeah, that's right. We're joined this morning by President and CEO of Happier at Home, Marie Rodriguez. With more, Marie, it's good to see you again this week. Thank you so much for coming in. Um, this is this is something that is a, a kind of a, a more fun topic than maybe mm -hmm. we're used to. Yes, absolutely. And we're finding that getting seniors involved in activities, really enriching their lives. I know we talked last segment about loneliness and isolation, um, really proving that getting our loved ones out into the community and involved in these senior um, these senior events really is beneficial for their mental health and physical health as well. Yeah, I mean, it really does impact longevity and sustainability. Um, and I would imagine emotional and physical energy as well, because you're, you're getting out there, you're communicating, you're making connections with other people, which, as you mentioned, is just so very important. Yes, it absolutely is. And even physical, we talk about, you know, getting out and walking to these events and doing those things, getting that exercise, even when you think you're not doing that, it's you're doing so much more than just sitting in the home and um, and being there and involved in yourself. And really, we find that the number one way to really help in facilitating seniors to get out and getting involved in these activities is maybe a family member or loved one going out and taking tours. So if there's a senior center, you know, much like Chai Lai Senior Center, you know, going out and, and really exploring the senior center with your loved one or going into your independent communities or your senior communities, um, all of them. And just if your loved one lives there, walking them down to an event and getting them involved in the activity and then, you know, being able to leave, but just being able to escort them down or, or taking a tour and, and having that first lunch or that first activity and being there with them, I think really is beneficial and really making that turn to say, this is something that I want to do and I enjoy doing. Mm. And there are so many activities at that Chai Lai Senior Center and at uh, Legacy at uh, Park Crescent, you know, the list is is just uh, very, very thorough in terms of stuff people can do. Bingo and basket weaving, which sounds so fun. Listen, and... I like a I like a football themed pub crawl. Oh, I that like that That sounds one too. like a lot of fun if you ask the me. Erie Canal lunch cruise. It's the options yes. are endless. Yeah, and with like, you know, you mentioned the football pub um, crawl, which the legacy at Park Crescent will be doing, and so Happy at Home will be involved in that. So we have a table and lots of fun things and, and football-themed snacks and all of us wearing our jerseys. So really getting um, residents involved and interacting, and it's just such a great time, and, and people really enjoy it. It really is, uh, again, just a mood booster, mm -hmm. being around and uh, making connections with other people. Uh, you know, yes. for, for anyone of any age, it's, it's night and day. Absolutely. And with events or activities, you can do as many activities or as many things as you want or as, you know, least as you want. So it's not that you have to do everything. You can pick and choose what you want to do, which is really nice. But there's activities every day that you can be involved in if it's something that interests you. And especially, you know, a lot of the ones too, like balance classes, you know, physical therapy classes, um, Bible studies. So all those things really just incorporate something for everybody. Excellent. Absolutely Good love to stay it. active yes. and stay moving. Thank you so much for joining us, Marie. We appreciate it. We will uh, see you. you soon. It's